are you doing welcome to today's weekend vlog today's on a sunday nothing pretty much going on but i have akila zimani bomo easy lines just look there are four lines i did them so i have to undo them and then wash my hair and then blow dry i'm gonna take you through all that uh, meanwhile today uh right now it's around two so food for me i had some bajils so i've eaten some bajils uh, right now what i want to do i want to soak some beans uh because a good friend of mine actually my neighbor in fact yeah mahindi mob so i had already boiled them so right now i just want to go ahead and yeah soak the beans Ndiyo, maybe uko majioni nizi yekele kwa pressure cooker. If you wanna know how I use a pressure cooker or how to use a pressure cooker, I'm gonna leave the link down in the description box so that I can just show you guys. So that you can see how to use a pressure cooker. I'm trying to reach for the beans. Let me just put this down. So here are the beans, here are the maize. So this ones, let them just soak and become soft. Right now, let me just go ahead and put for Zemira her lunch. Yeah. Done a video of how to not really just basically about groceries and cereals you can check it out if you would love to watch that content basically it's just some of the grains and cereals that are very very necessary for you to have in your household like they save you for days they really do save you for days yeah so you can check out that video uh today right now i'm just a man hubby is not around my nanny is not in i'm with zemira she's just running all over the house so for her hair, I'm going to show you, I managed to put some lines on her head yesterday. So she looks pretty neat, but for me, I'm a mess. Mommy messed hair. So, so this is Zemira's lunch. We have pumpkin, some ndizizaki si, we have some veggies and some potatoes, some carrots. Yeah, so let me just make sure that she eats are you ready for lunch yeah sit properly so that she can eat no no yes you have to eat so you're doing zemi so i did some lines yesterday she looks a little bit neat so this one's i can see you kitchen and pack december because this one before you get her to work on her hair it's problems Honestly, I don't like feeding her because she takes me like a joke. Like, she does not take me seriously compared to when my nanny is feeding her. It's always, you know? Yeah, can you eat? You are going to eat? Yeah, just look. Just look. Please open your mouth. No? Please open your mouth. It's good food. Sometimes she wants to feed herself, and when she's feeding herself, I don't know what you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just look at her. Let me reduce the volume of this TV. Can we feed like seriously, Zimi? Yeah? Can you be a good girl? Yeah? I've been struggling to feed this girl for the longest time. Hey, it's a struggle. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Good girl. Yani, sometimes I'm always telling my nanny, like, before I get to the house, just make sure make sure you, you've given her supper because hmm. Good. Guys, this little one has already fallen asleep. Thank God I gave her a bath. She always sleeps at four PM. How crazy is that? At four, latest four ten, but at four she'll fall asleep so she's going to sleep maybe probably wake up at around six so let me put her down then go ahead and put the duvet on the hanging lines so that it can dry so that i can also get to undo my hair give it a nice wash do a blow dry yeah get to the bathroom and get a quick shower as i wash this hair and then i'm gonna share with you the products that i've used i think as i'm conditioning the hair yep so time to go managed 
to do some easy wash and blow dry so after washing i've used the Cantu leave-in conditioning cream i've applied this one and then did the blow dry and then i always go in using the this kentist coconut oil i use it for everything uh, i'm not sure if you guys are familiar okay most of you are familiar with this oil like it's an oil general oil you can use it for cooking for hair for body so i use it on my baby i use it on my hair i use it on my baby's hair i use it on my body it's just amazing by the way it's very smooth i like the texture and it does wonders on your skin by the way so it's a very very good coconut oil uh so i'm just gonna apply more of this just to prevent the hair from being so dry and then i'm just gonna uh like hold it up hold my hair up go wash my hands and then prepare some mandazis for tomorrow's breakfast because i i don't know i just prefer doing mandazis than taking my legs to the shop to buy bread so let me take advantage before my baby wakes up yep so i'm just gonna hold it like this until i put on some lines So today, today is the next day. Actually, today is a today is on a Tuesday. I started this vlog on a Sunday, but I couldn't continue. I was to Mahali on a Sunday, and I was like, "What's happening to my body? Nanza ku feel lazy. Ni kanza ku feel headache. Ni kanza ku feel no, no, no. I cannot go on kumbe. It was that time of the month." Yani, it's just crazy how these things can make your mood go from a hundred to zero. Yani, unenda flat. Like, it just got lazy. The day was lazy. I was like, what the hell is happening? I know most of the ladies can relate. Like, unasikianga tuki uvivu jingine siju ki metoka hapi. Ni kama umekuwa mgonjwa. Ni kama siku yako imearibio na watu. Wata hawako karibu na wewe. Eh, things just change. Monday was the same thing. I was just like, I cannot. I had like a headache the whole day. I don't know for me, like it gets these frequent mild headaches and like they don't stop even when I'm taking any medication. Like I remember even Monday night, I just slept the whole night telling Habi that I'm just having a headache, a headache. So today's on Tuesday. I woke up feeling a little bit much better and I wanted to finish this video. So I think we left the video. I was doing my, I did my blow dry and right now I just want to show you guys how I do my two lines. These are the days when I'm not in the mood Yakwenda salon. So I'm just gonna do two lines so that I can be able to put on my wig. This is pretty easy for me. Okay. Yep. So I make that separation. I can't see behind, so I'm not sure if it's perfectly straight, but I'm just gonna hold this side. So nearly at I may shrink. Nearly may shrink because I've been like this two days. From the day I like did my Ooh. so now let me just do this So ladies and gentlemen, there are my two lines. I have a very small head, guys. A very small head. Yeah, so sometimes I do four. Today I've decided to do two. You can see. I think they're pretty good just to hold in the wig for some few weeks. Yeah, I think it looks okay. So I'm just going to put in some of this coconut oil. So the struggle that I have right now... Is uh, uh, working on this human hair wig of mine. Mm, imagine, there, I'm done. Sometimes I can do this and just stay with them in the house for some few days before I decide what I really want to do with my hair. So here's my wig. We need to work on this hair. So it's heating up already. And then the next step now is trying to figure out 
mali nitavalisha hii ndo niko nyingi i just like yeah because you just need to i don't have that car what is it called the the face the hair that people do put look at my bed so i'm gonna just put it over here so that i can do the rest of the work ama nivai nivai ndo nifanye kirahisi because i'm trying to figure out nitashika aje nitashika aje na bado so let me just comb it fast So I think I've done quite a mess but nimejaribu I have really tried it's not it's not so easy and I think because I'm not patient so it's it's not coming out well but this 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 one is really working by the it's really working so yeah you can see this wig really makes my head look a little bit bigger because as I've said I have a big head yeah but nimejaribu okay I don't know I don't know but I feel it has given it at least it may enhance his or curls kidogo zilikuwa zimekufa kufa and this wig is quite curly yeah so that's it guys that's it for the wig so let me just share with you a short short story of how I take care of these wig shenanigans yeah let me just call them wig shenanigans but they save our lives big time man eh? So this week, I think I've talked about it several times. Actually, Nikki Tengenezo ilikuwa perfect. Ilikuwa perfect. Ilikuwa le, zilikuwa bundles tattoo. This was the is it called frontal? Akiata sikoshua. And then I had two bundles. So my friend, a good friend of mine, sold for me the bundles for only seven Gs. Yeah, it was like a last minute clearance sale. And then I was able to get it. And then I went and fixed it into a wig, into a kofia. And I remember I had another wig that I used during my wedding. Actually, you need use after Rosie. Mm. And then I stayed and then, and then I was like, oh man, I need another wig. So I was able to get this one. This one is, it's curly. I feel like my head, I feel, low. okay, I'm more comfortable with curly, but I want to get a straight one. So basic ways of which I take care of it. Actually, I don't have anything serious or major, but I need to invest. So first thing first is that avoid oils that you're not sure whether how they're going to turn out. Like uneza pakachitu wigi shikane. Because this one is 100% human hair by the high katikangi, high toki. I've washed it, I've ever blow dried it, and now I'm using, I'm actually trying to give it some more curls using a tongue. So some of my gadgets here, I have a blow dry. This one is very essential for someone who is a natural hair, or basically for any lady who is not always so good with going to the salons like me. By the way, I can see you shida gani na salon. Everyone asks me that a lot. But the thing is, I'm just comfortable doing my hair in the house. So I have this blow dry. I got this for like 3,300. Yeah, it's around 3,300. Because I think I'll go to 3,500. So this is blow dry that I have comes in handy. I love this. This one is not going anywhere anytime soon. Another gadget that I have is this tongue. I've actually talked about this before. This one, I was actually to get it. And then, when I got my washing my machine, I kind of the final day I could pick. I can remember, yeah, I have to give you something. And it was so nice. So he looked at me. I didn't even think he was looking at my wig. So I think totally realized, that hair is a mess. So he gave me this. Thank you so much. And this one in the market, I think it also goes around for around the same price, 3000 and something, if I'm not wrong. Eh, and then I go for around the same price, you know. So this one also is not going anywhere anytime because it's perfect. It's still new. And I feel like if I'll have a straight wig, it's going to do magic. So this one I'm definitely keeping. These are some of the collections that you need, man. So that one is good to go. So what I have here today, this is another perfect one. So this one uh, comes with a box that looks like... Uh, oh, like this. Hisasa, hisi yangu. 
I uh, went to see my friend Priscilla. So she had this one, but she doesn't need it. You know why? Because the wig that she has is not curly. And this one works perfectly with curly hair, like this one. Yeah, it works perfectly with this kind of, of wavy wig. So Nikayona, I'm like, hey, I need to use that on my wig. So I have borrowed it for today. I'm going to return it. And that's one very important gadget. This one, it's Philips. And Philips is one of the best brands. It's written... 3390 bob so yeah so you can see these things actually in a range almost the same price uh, and i was just disconnecting it from the socket yeah so this is another very good gadget if you have human hair that will sort your days easy oils is equal mob so i'm not gonna say that this is like the best in the market but wig oils are so many but for me the kind of maintenance that I do mostly natumianga maji and then I sprinkle it with water and then just brush it and it does magic. But then the next time I'm gonna be leaving the house, I'll try to do it with you guys because sometimes you see kuna oils zingine that when you're not sure which kind of oils you need to use on your human hair, zina cha zina collect a lot of dust, zina kuwa in a shikana. So for me I prefer if I'm not sure of what I really want to use. I'll just apply water and it looks perfectly. I'm going to be sharing with you some of the pictures that I have when it was brand new. So, maintenance sometimes it goes high. But you don't do it actually often. Because to say, like for me, the only thing that will cost me a lot is probably to go and take it to a professional and you can die. Like I want, to, I want it to have some color. So I'm not sure which colors will gonna look good on me, but I wanna go a little bit blonde on the lower ages. I awoke to a blonde to Kazuri. I'm a, this ka, copper. Yeah, yeah, copper looks good with copper. I think will look good also with my with my skin tone. So that's the change I wanna do. I think I'm gonna do it soon before end of December. It has to have some color. Even if I'm not gonna get another wig that has color, this one has to change. Another key thing that I have for my wig is this brush. A brush, oh my god, really comes in handy. I think it goes for around 200 bob. I'm at 300 bob. I'm not sure. I got this one in Du Bois. Du Bois with a zipata. Nyingi, nyingi, nyingi uko. So that's it. For my natural hair, I'm just using this coconut oil that I've mentioned. Can't leave in conditioner. And basically that's it guys so guys i hope i'm gonna see you in my next video please don't forget to subscribe or at least give this video a thumbs up and thank you so much we are growing 2500 subscribers is not a joke i appreciate each and every one of you make sure to stay tuned so much content coming up i'm so excited